Since ancient times, philosophers and naturalists have puzzled over this deep sea enigma. There's plenty we still don't know, but we've learned quite a lot, especially over the past 20 years. The conditions here are extreme. The water is cold. It has a constant temperature of only 2 degrees Celsius. There is little difference between day and night, and the pressure is enormous. Animals living here have developed many strategies to cope with that. Welcome to Googleplex, and here are the five most terrifying deep sea creatures on Earth. Be brave and dive on in. Giant Squid Giant Squid is one of the biggest animals on the planet. Largest specimen had 59 feet in length and almost one ton of weight. It was a female, which are normally larger than males. Underneath their tentacles, giant squid have a sharp beak that they use to tear apart prey, such as jellyfish and smaller species of squid. Their brains are donut shaped. But that's not the weird part. What's truly bizarre is the fact that its esophagus passes through the hole in the middle of its brain. Giant squids have to be really careful while swallowing because if a given meal isn't broken down into small enough pieces first, it can rub against the brain and cause damage. Much in the same way that lizards can regrow lost limbs, a giant squid can regenerate a tentacle after being attacked by a sperm whale, the only creature that preys on these sea monsters. With their strange coloring, colossal staring eye, which is as large as a dinner plate, and writhing mass of tentacles, it's easy to see how legends of sea monsters such as the Kraken would have started from sailors witnessing one of these creatures in shallower waters. But don't worry, if you're ever at sea, the stories of giant squid destroying ships and drowning sailors are definitely the stuff of myths. Anglerfish the humpback anglerfish is an angry looking species that lives deep in the sea. It's also one of the ugliest animals on earth. The humpback anglerfish is found in the oceans at depths not less than 3,000 feet. And at that level of the deep sea, it is completely dark and the water is close to freezing temperature. Because of its peculiar body shape, the humpback anglerfish cannot swim fast and instead of swimming, it wobbles in the water. The tip of the protruding piece of spine from the head of the humpback anglerfish is called esca. The anglerfish attacks its prey with the bioluminance of the esca, which is produced by symbiotic bacteria. They can cope with very large prey because their expandable jaws open double wide and they possess an elastic stomach and they can eat any prey available. You may have heard how some anglerfish reproduce via the males fusing their bodies to the females until they essentially become one. The male loses his eyes, fins, teeth, and some internal organs, and from that point forward lives off the female, providing sperm when she's ready to spawn. This is thought to be an adaptation to save energy, allowing the females to feed on whatever food is available. Goblin Shark the goblin shark is sometimes called the vampire shark, as if it wasn't scary looking enough to begin with. The reason it is called a vampire is because it avoids the light by living deep in the sea. Goblin sharks have been found at depths from 890 feet to as deep as 4,300 feet. The most terrifying thing about this deep sea dweller is its highly extendable jaws. They're able to instantly snap forward to capture prey. The jaw is filled with sharp small teeth in the front for grabbing fish and flatter teeth in the back for grinding up mollusks. The goblin shark differs from other shark species by having a flattened snout that protrudes from the top of its head, resembling the blade of a sword. It seems like an odd body part, but it functions as a prey detector because it is filled with electroreceptors called ampullae of Lorenzini. These receptors pick up tiny electrical fields of prey. The shark's skin is semi-transparent, so that pinkish hue you see is actually a direct look at their insides. The goblin sharks seldom come in contact with humans. However, because of its large size, it could be potentially dangerous. Giant Isopods 
They're not bugs. Giant isopods live between 550 to 7,020 feet deep and potentially deeper and prefer a mud or clay floor which they burrow in for shelter. They get big, really big. The gigantism of the giant isopod may be an adaptation to the extreme pressure of the deep ocean they inhabit. Though they're generally believed to be scavengers, feasting on dead animals that fall from above, some evidence suggests that they might also eat slow-moving live animals like sponges. Since meals in the deep sea can be few and really far between, giant isopods limit their energy expenditure. These isopods can go for long periods of time without eating. They've been known to survive for four years without food when kept in a protected environment such as an aquarium. Giant isopods have two sets of antennae that they use to experience the environment around them. The small antennas are used for more chemical sensing and they have large antennas that are used for physical sensing. Isopods can potentially be eaten by anything that's bigger than them and when they're threatened, they curl up into a little ball, just like their landlocked relatives, pill bugs. Blobfish This fish looks like a creature straight out of a science fiction movie. It certainly looks like it doesn't belong on this planet. Primarily found in the deep water of Australia and New Zealand, the blobfish lives at depths of 3,000 feet. The pressure here is several dozen times higher than that at the surface and as a result, its body is little more than gelatinous mass. Lacking both bones and teeth, the blobfish is not able to hunt and therefore waits patiently for food to come towards it. It opens its mouth and just sucks in whatever food source might swim past it. The female blobfish can lay thousands of pink eggs on the ocean floor. Either the female or male will then guard the eggs. At their native depth, it is believed the blobfish has a more normal appearance. At the surface, without the water pressure to hold their shape, they appear to melt into a puddle of goo. The only natural enemies of blobfish are humans. Blobfish spend its entire life on the ocean floor. It occasionally ends up caught in the trawling nets, which is always fatal for this fish. The deep sea may seem remote, but what we can send down will eventually cycle back up into our lives. Deep sea animals are part of a thriving ecosystem. Our trash and chemicals may harm them if we are careless with our waste. Do you know any other interesting deep sea creatures? Tell us in the comments below and remember to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Plus, click that subscribe button and stay with Googleplex.